Get ready to be mind blown by the profound life lessons hidden in Dumbledore's philosophical wisdom throughout the Harry Potter series. Albus Dumbledore, headmaster of Hogwarts. No, he wasn't just a wizard. He was a philosopher king in a pointy hat. He navigated the magical world with wisdom and cunning, ever safeguarding the future. But his path was fraught with impossible choices, ethical dilemmas that would make even Merlin scratch his beard. Dumbledore's life, a tapestry woven with brilliance and burdened by sacrifice, offers us a glimpse into the heart of leadership and the complexities of moral decision-making. Like a chess grandmaster, he foresaw the moves, understood the sacrifices and played the long game with grace and determination. Dumbledore's character, much like a good defense against the dark arts lesson, held hidden depths. He wasn't all twinkling eyes and lemon drops. This was a man who'd stared down darkness, felt its seductive pull, yet emerged committed to the light. He knew that to combat evil, sometimes you had to think like it, anticipate its moves. This understanding wasn't without its costs. It led to difficult decisions, morally ambiguous choices that left even the most devoted followers questioning his methods. The weight of the wizarding world rested on his shoulders, yet he bore it with an almost whimsical lightness. He understood that fear was a weapon and joy defiance. He fostered courage in his students, not by shielding them from darkness, but by teaching them to face it head on. Dumbledore, with his half-moon spectacles and mischievous glint, taught us that true leadership isn't about power, but about using your influence to empower others. Dumbledore's strategic brilliance in leading the Light Brigade. Dumbledore's leadership transcended the typical headmaster role. This wasn't just about handing out timetables and awarding house points, though he did have a penchant for Gryffindor, let's be honest. He was a strategist, a general rallying his troops against the encroaching darkness. He recognized the threat of Voldemort long before others, understanding that ignoring it wouldn't make it disappear. Instead, he built alliances, nurtured potential, and prepared for the inevitable confrontation. His leadership style, however, wasn't about barking orders from atop a high tower. Dumbledore was a master of delegation, recognizing and nurturing the unique talents of those around him. He entrusted crucial tasks to individuals he believed in, even when those individuals doubted themselves. He saw potential where others saw flaws, offering guidance and support without stifling individuality. Remember Neville Longbottom's transformation? Dumbledore's unwavering belief in the clumsy Gryffindor played no small part in that. This approach wasn't without its critics. Some argued that he manipulated events from the shadows playing with people's lives like pawns in a game. Was he always truthful? Did he withhold information, even when it put those he cared about in danger? These questions linger, highlighting the complexities of leadership, particularly when the stakes are life and death. Dumbledore's actions, however, were always driven by a deep-seated belief in the inherent goodness within people. He saw the potential for both light and darkness in everyone, recognizing that choices, not destinies, defined a person's path. He challenged his followers to think for themselves, to question everything, and to ultimately choose the path of love and compassion. The greater good, a necessary evil? Ah, the greater good. That slippery slope where good intentions often trip and fall into murky ethical waters. Dumbledore's commitment to this ideal is perhaps his most controversial aspect. He believed that some sacrifices, however painful, were necessary to achieve a greater purpose. This utilitarian approach, while seemingly logical, raises uncomfortable questions about the ends justifying the means. Was it right to place such a heavy burden on young Harry? To groom him for a fight he never asked for? Was sacrificing one life, even for the greater good, ever justifiable? These questions have been debated by philosophers for centuries, and Dumbledore's actions offer a fascinating case study. Consider the trolley problem, a thought experiment where you must choose between sacrificing one life to save many. Dumbledore, faced with similar dilemmas throughout his life, often chose the path of the many, even if it meant personal anguish and difficult losses. He understood that leadership often required making impossible choices, shouldering burdens that others couldn't or wouldn't. 
This doesn't mean he was without compassion or empathy. He grieved for every life lost, carried the weight of his decisions with a heavy heart. But he also understood that inaction, allowing darkness to prevail, was not an option. He made the tough calls, the ones that left him with sleepless nights and a heavy heart, because he believed it was the only way to secure a brighter future. So glad you could join us here at Philosophical Flicks for another episode, or perhaps your very first. Nevertheless, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, take care of yourselves and each other. And please, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and continue to hit that like button for us. It means so much to the channel. We'll see you soon. Farewell, Auf Wiedersehen. Arrivederci. Goodbye.